Hey everyone. Um, so it's day five that I just completed of the ultimate reset and I had so much energy today it was ridiculous. Um, I'm on day five with no caffeine and I got up at six-ish, 6.15 this morning. Worked all day, no nap after work. It is quarter after midnight right now. Um, I cleaned my whole house. I rearranged my bedroom. Um, I organized. I made a grocery list for the next week. I was like crazy, crazy organizational mode today. Um, a lot of energy. Food was good today. Um, some repeats. I did, what was for breakfast today? Oatmeal, I think. My God, this morning seems like so long ago. It seems like another day. Um, and I had a quinoa salad and veggies and hummus for lunch. And dinner was um, like stir-fry vegetables. And I had some leftover rice and beans from a few days ago. And I had, um, I ha oh, it's, it's my dog. I thought it was a bug. Um, and so I had a half a cup of the rice and beans for dinner. Um, I feel great. I I don't know if I'm ever going to need coffee again. Um, I had my Shakeology around 9.30 tonight because I was feeling hungry. I was really full for like three hours after eating dinner. Um, so that was really nice. And I, I'm, I looked over the menu for next week and I'm a little nervous to have zero animal protein for the week, I'll be honest. Um, no eggs, no chicken, no fish. No nothing, just lots of beans and beets. Beets are on the menu for next week and I don't know how I feel about beets, but I'll give it a go. I went, I tried the lentils, I didn't like those, but I tried them. Um, so we'll see what happens with the beets. Um, tomorrow, I'm actually really excited for breakfast tomorrow. I get to have baked tempa, which I'm really... I really like baked tempa, so I'm excited that I get to have that for breakfast, or for, yeah, for breakfast with um, avocado and something else. Um, my headache has pretty much gone away. I went through days three through five, five, um, kind of without a hitch. Um, I I had the headache from the start, so that was no different. Um, I felt like my energy was good. I feel emotionally fine. Um, I'm a slightly hungry between meals, and I think it's just because the way my work schedule has been, um, I'm not eating every, like, I, I normally eat every two and a half to three hours because I work out so hard every day um, to keep my metabolism up. I'm always hungry, and I haven't been doing snacks in between meals. Um, just that darn alkalinize, al I can't even say it alkalinize um, that I do around, I've been doing it around 4 o'clock, 3, 4 o'clock every day um, and it, uh, I don't know, maybe I'll get used to it by the end of the three weeks, I don't know, I am just counting down the days till I don't have to drink it anymore though, I hate that crap, but it's making my body feel good, oh, this is something else I wanted to mention, um, might be too much information, but as a nurse, I, the stuff doesn't bother me, and I tell it all. Um, my poop's kind of green, and I think it's, I think it's from the alkaline ice, um, and more frequently now, which I'm a little nervous with the de detox week that's coming, because that's supposed to make you go more, so hopefully I don't have to find every single public bathroom in the county of Oneida next week. We'll see how it goes. But as far, right now I'm feeling like this reset, it's only day five and I am feeling amazing. I love this program. I would recommend it to really anyone. Um, and I did, I did have some people who said that they were interested in the reset, but they weren't going to do it right away because they felt like they needed to lose a lot of weight and they, they didn't want to not work out for three weeks. Um, I'm only on day five, but I really think that this is a good way to start out. You're 
jump start. Um, and I will, I will readdress that later on, um, in my, um, journey that I'm taking here. But I'm feeling right now, after five days, I'm really thinking that this is the best way to jumpstart a weight loss program. Um, it's going to teach you portion control. It's going to teach you how to eat healthy, even if you don't stick with the vegan or the vegetarian. Um, it, it's really going to open your eyes to what you're eating. Even my boyfriend said tonight, because um, he's been a trooper, and he has been eating everything that I've been eating for the most part. Um... I, I did make him, um, he had pork chops tonight, um, that I baked, and I used the same, um, marinade recipe for the baked tempa, and he usually slathers his stuff with, um, barbecue sauce and hot sauce, and he said he didn't even need it. Um, so that was kind of cool to, to see him, um eating healthier and he is like looking at his abs in the mirror all the time and um he's he's really noticing differences and he's not taking any of the supplements and he's not eating full reset menu he's he's still eating meat um I put an oatmeal cream pie in his lunch every day um so he's just kind of portion control and and making conscious decisions well he's not really making decisions about what he's eating because I'm buying the food and I'm making the decisions. Um, but, you know, he, he said that he really, he, it's a little over the top for him, but he said that he's, he's kind of enjoying it. Um, and some of the stuff, I mean, he said he loved the sushi, so that will remain, um, a staple in my menu after reset's over. Um, the salad, he really likes the microgreen salad the first day, but the second day we had it, he was like, eh, I don't know, I'm not feeling it today. So, um, I don't know, Re reset is something to do, even if your family's not going to do it with you, but they're willing to try the menu with you. Um, that's, it's really cool because then, then you can kind of sh share the food journey with them. Um, the only thing I will say though that's a little a little confusing is um all of the recipes in the book are for one person. So if you're making it for two, you have to double it. Um and then a lot of the l dinners are lunches for the next day. Oh, my hand is big. Um so you also have to look ahead when you're doing this program because it's silly to make this whole thing and then tomorrow you realize oh crap I have to have that for lunch today um so if you kind of look ahead you can see <coughs> what <coughs> um Maverick wanted to chime in his two cents also here's your toy um so just look ahead in your book and you'll be able to see um, what the lunch is for tomorrow, because a lot of times it's the dinner from the night before. Um, and my dog is going crazy here. Maverick, say hello. Say hello. No? You don't want to talk now? Okay. Okay. So, I'm going to go to bed, because it's almost... It's almost 12.30 now, and... I'm running out of steam, um, which is to be expected because I've been up since six. Um, but day five, no coffee. I'm gonna, I'm gonna like be on crack when I start drinking coffee again. Um, if I start drinking coffee again, I just really like the taste of coffee. I just like coffee. Maybe I'll have to go with decaf. Oh, and my restless leg thing is still, it's not as bad. It's kind of still here. It's, um. I noticed it when I was at work today, but at home, maybe it's because I'm moving around more. I don't know. Um, it's it's less less intense right now. So that's my story. That's reset day five. Um, I will give you a heads up on day. Why do you yawn so loudly? My dog is yawning and making all kinds of noise. Um, so I'll give you a rundown on day six tomorrow. Um, I'm really excited because my best friend said that she's going to try my 
crazy reset food. We're getting together for lunch tomorrow, so I'm going to make her a microgreen salad with some jicama, and maybe I'll make her some baked tempa too, because that's really good. And Maverick's freaking out, so I gotta go. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.